Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the uh, AEW Dark Review for the 22nd of um, March. Uh, I mean, it's, I guess, fine. Dark's one of those shows where you can watch it and uh, get something from it if you like some of the talent on it. And if you skip it completely, you're not really missing all that much. Anyway, um... This is the, um, I guess there's there's new talents here to be had. So if one wanted to get excited about this sort of thing, I guess they could, right? Um, anyhow, so this is the 322 Dark Edition. 14-match uh, AEW Dark lineup. Why 14 matches? We have no idea. Um, anyway, so Jay Lethal defeats J.D. Drake at the Wingman opener. Um, could have um, been a lot better. Jay Lethal never been a guy who has impressed me. A lot of people like him. I don't. And ultimately, ultimately, JD Drake does need someone to carry him through. So Drake gains an early advantage with the assistance of Wingman. Um, then there's momentum. Drake delivers a headbutt before transitioning into a headlock lethal escapes and begins to gain crowd support allowing him to hit the lethal injection for the pinfall win um proof that being part of ring of honor really doesn't lead you too far national ways uh butcher and blade defeats the infantry sean dean and charlie bravo um honestly to me the star of this is sean dean but they're not really doing anything with him butcher Isolates Bravo uh, beginning the match. Dean gets hot tagged, but uh, doesn't get where he wants to be because they want to push Butcher and Blade. Blade's able to score a victory shortly after hitting the full death finish. Uh, Anthony Gogo defeats Ray Jazz. I don't imagine he'll be long for this promotion with Cody Rhodes gone. A Gogo delivers a standing suplex. Taunting the crowd, Jazz fights back uh, with weak strikes. But Agogo delivers his knockout punch, giving him a victory in the process. Nyla Rose with Vicky Guerrero defeats Casey Lennox. Uh, Guerrero distracted Lennox, and that allows Rose, Rose to blindside her from behind. Beast Bomb enabled uh, picking up the fate of things there. Then we go to Blake Christian versus Rahet Raju. Uh, matches a sprint. Match lasts about two and a half, three minutes. Raju's aggressive early and uh, delivers stomps to the chest of his opponent. Uh, Christian retains split leg moonsault for near fall. Raju uh, hits a flat liner and then Christian gets back up and hits a springboard 450 for the win. Why have them get dressed for something this short? Acclaimed defeats the... Salt, Liam Gray, and Aiden Alanis. Caster delivers a running elbow to Alanis. Uh, Anthony Bowen's tagged in, to bring, brings Gray into the match, and then Caster delivers a leg drop uh, on Gray for the victory. AQA defeats Valentina Rossi. Uh, now that Joey Janela is gone, I wouldn't imagine she'd last that much long. Rossi. Didn't take AQA lightly, and then she delivers a few knees, stomach. Rossi then wouldn't get far. AQA plants her on the mat. Lori Neckbreaker scores herself a pick victory. Uh, Tony Nice defeats Karam. Uh, nice tries to take him down to the mat, works over his legs, positioning Karam on the bottom turnbuckle. Nice delivers a running leg strike for the victory in the process. Abaddon defeats An uh, An Angelica Risk. Abaddon uh, messes with her for a while before putting her away with the DDT. Gun Club Austin and Colton Gun defeats Brick City and uh, the Brick City Boys, actually. Uh, basically, 30-second tornado tag match. Everybody in the ring, Colton pins Cruz after a Colt 45. Uh, Mercedes Martinez defeats Gemma Jules. Mercine, Mer, uh, Martinez delivers uh, a bunch of chops, and after a series of running drop kicks, the corner Martinez gets a dragon sleeper on Jules, tapped out rather quickly. Varsity Blondes with Julia Hart defeats a Southern 
Serena uh, Chihun and Tony Vincenza. Garrison and Chun start out. Garrison uh, nails a side slam. Pillman comes off the tag. Pillman gets double teamed for minutes. Tag back to Garrison, delivering multiple belly to belly suplexes overhead. Why are we even doing that move after what happened to Biggie? Anyway, Pillman successfully pinned Vincenzo with a brain buster. Uh, Marina Schaffer defeats Liam Gray. Schaffer struggles with Gray for a bit, which makes absolutely no sense. Taps her out shortly after with a cradle headlock uh, type submission. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs, in the last match of the show, defeats Fuego Del Sol. Hobbs beats him up, beats him in the mat, and completes him so early. The match spills to the outside. Sol hits a little bit of hope spots. Hobbs gets sent into the ring post, following a tornado DDT for near fall, kicking Hobbs out, regaining his footing, and Sol has pulled your rack for the victory, finishing out this week's show. Way too many matches, way too much chaos, but that's what wrestling is these days. We'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 